And Brainer Volleyball is one of the many teams impacted by the governor's decision today. The Warriors are currently 8-3 this year, but now have only two days left in their season. Sports reporter Nick Ursini stopped by Brainer's practice today to see how the Warriors were handling all the uncertainty and also to reflect on what's been a great season this fall. I remember I had to work harder this year than any year in the last 40. It's, it's just been tough. Every single day, I'll, I'll get, I'll, I talk to my AD more than I've ever talked to him before because I don't know what he's going to say. Well, it's about to get harder for Coach Cool Wine and the Brainerd volleyball team after the latest announcement from Governor Walls. Before practice started today, Coach gathered everyone together to prepare them for what may happen. He did say something about potentially our season will be done on Friday night which as long as we get playoff games, and I think we're all okay with that. All the Warriors were asking for was a chance. It's another adjustment thrown at them, but it's something they feel they are prepared for. Our team has adjusted really well to all the things that have been thrown at us, like moving from fall, or I mean spring to fall, and then even like today, our team is just going to have to adjust. Um, there's been a lot of great memories in this gym. Those memories may not yet be over with because the new restrictions don't go into effect until midnight on Friday. But even in a year filled with a lot of negatives, these Warriors are still finding positives. All the team chemistry that we had on the court, off the court, um, everything, we are just one big team. And I think we have to kind of thank COVID for that just because we had to overcome those challenges and it brought us a lot closer. If Friday is indeed the last time these Warriors are on the court together, they all agree that one victory stands above the rest. We're definitely beating Moorhead. That Moorhead win was huge. Moorhead. Definitely more ahead. Um, it was such, we came into that game not knowing what we were going to do or not knowing what to expect. And we, we went on that court and we put 110%. We put all of our heart out because our coaches always told us that every game is a gift. And the Warriors will get another shot to knock off Moorhead tomorrow night because of the news that came today. That game with the Spuds was rescheduled just a couple hours ago. Bemidji Volleyball is unable to reschedule an opponent for the next two days, so the Jack season will end with a 3-7 and seven record. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.